Risking their lives to practice their passion, Zora is Afghanistan's only all-female orchestra. They are led by the country's first female conductor, 19-year-old Nagina Kapalwak. Her family moved to Kabul to support her music career, but not all were on board with her decision. They didn't let me to come in the music school. My uncles make a lot of problems for me. Like my grandmother said to my father that if you let Nigin to go to music school, so after that you are not my son anymore. While music is still frowned upon in Afghanistan's tightly gender-segregated conservative society, the studio provides a safe haven from the death threats and discrimination these girls have had to overcome. Zora was founded by Dr. Ahmed Samast, who himself has been a victim of the Taliban's aggression. He was injured in a deadly attack three years ago, but he hopes the initiative will show the world a different side of his war-ravaged country. Afghanistan is closely associated outside Afghanistan with Kalashnikov, Bukhra, but it's not all, uh, all about Afghanistan. Every member of the Afghan society is uh, not violating the human rights of the women of Afghanistan. Some of Zora's musicians were once street workers. Among them is 18-year-old violinist Zarifa Adiba, who has already performed at Carnegie Hall in New York. I'm so happy that the generation, my generation, they are trying to get education, they are trying to do something better for our country. So that's why I think um, we are going to change, but it's hard. These girls hope their lasting legacy will be to challenge the world's perception of their country. And where words fail, they hope the music will speak for itself.